right, man. All right. I am I am sweating up a damn storm in my damn truck, man. My motherfucking my motherfucking AC is 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 just not working my fucking way, man. It is fucking crazy. Oh, it is fucking yeah, crazy. What's what's going what's going on, bro? Oh, same old shit, you know. Yeah, like you said earlier, <laughs> we over here living the dream, but it's like we live in a fucking nightmare up in this bitch, man. I mean, it's it's oh, like yeah. it. Oh, go ahead. What'd you say? I they're trying to prevent all this crap, but we're the ones that are freaking suffering out here. I mean, we we yeah, are. Think about it. We are, man. We are. Hold on. Let me uh let me bring this up. What's up, everybody? Lockout men in the truck. On the 30, on the 10, on something. Damn it. I mean, this this we can't even hey, whatever you do, don't don't even say the name, bro, because YouTube is on some is on some bullshit right now with uh with uh people saying the name and all like that. So let's just uh, say I'll keep Let's let's just I'll say the name out. let's just say the the outbreak. You know what I'm saying? The outbreak. That's what it is. Yeah. Everybody is on some shit about this damn outbreak going on, man. And I'm I'm for one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm paranoid. I'm I'm really am. I'm I know I made the 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 rant about we're not shutting down, but I think it's coming to the point that that we're gonna shut down. I mean, it's it's going to come to the point that we we're going to be sitting like for maybe I, a couple. If, if it's I, not if it's not uh like food, yeah. If it's not like food related or or emergency products related, I think we're going to be sitting down, bro. I I think coming soon. I think the the government's going to take over for a while. The, go uh, the government is, and I, I said before that the government could be lying to us and all like that, but but they, the government saw this shit coming. They had to. They, they had to see it and they waited too long is the problem. Exactly. What's going on? All right, guys. I want to welcome my special guest to the show. He is a friend of the show, my man Brett Stretch. JNR Schruber driver extraordinaire. So he's on the show with me today. We're just chopping it up. We're going over over some topics, over some uh, over some things that that's been happening. Uh, me and Brett, we're from the same state of the state of Ohio, and it is coming to the point that uh, that Ohio might be the first state to literally shut down, like. The whole entire state is literally is shutting down, man. What 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 we got to say about that, bro? Uh, I don't know. I was watching the newscast a little while ago, and I saw that there a live cast from the news station, and they were saying that the next step may be shutting the whole state down, locking it down completely. I'm I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Well, right here in this article, it says, uh, it says we're hearing from many readers and seeing on social, on social media rumors that Ohio Governor Mike DeWine soon will announce a widespread closure of additional of additional state properties. Uh oh, my camera just went out. Hold on for a minute, bro. My, my camera just uh, went out. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, we back in, man. Got the camera working. Technical difficulties, uh, everybody. Not not only that, not only that I am burning up in my fucking truck because my AC is not fucking working, but my damn camera want to take a shit right in right in the middle of the podcast. I don't understand. I might have to throw this motherfucker in the garbage. But anyway, back to what I was saying. It says that um it says that they're hearing from many readers and social media that Governor Mike DeWine will soon announce a widespread closure of the entire of additional state businesses. The rumor has different forms. All businesses will close down or just some. It will be for two weeks or 30 days. 
Some versions say residents won't be allowed to leave their homes. And speaking of which, I just got something. Uh, I just got something. Let me see if I can bring it up. Let me see if I can bring it up. See if they say they say that New York will be the first state that would I mean that would uh have have people to stay home or in in home some shit. I can't I can't fucking find it. But um but they over here talking about New York is talking about a total shutdown. You you won't be able to go nowhere unless you you'll be able to go you'll be able to go places but uh but not not too many places. I'm trying to right. I'm try, I'm trying to find it, but yeah, they over here talking about initiating initiating that, man. It's it's scary. This this and this is for real. You know a lot of people a lot of people is not taking it serious. You know? Right. I'm one of those people at first, but I'm not afraid of the virus. I'm more concerned about what's happening to the economy. <laughs> the economy, exactly. I, I don't think the I don't think the virus is gonna be is gonna be the one to, to be the one to take us out. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the economy, man, and 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 everybody's paranoia. You know, I mean, exactly. I mean, PA, man. Let's. I mean, PA shutting down. All of the all, all of the rest areas and and all of the uh uh service stations. Service I plaza. mean service uh service plaza. I mean what's yeah, that nah, gonna that that was that was stupid right there. If that that was stupid, bro. That that was stupid. Yeah. I, I mean what what they expect Well they they reopening a few. They're they're not reopening a lot. They only reopening a few, bro. They only they only reopening about thirteen. Yeah, thirteen throughout the state. That's not enough. No, no, it is. It, 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 it does drivers that are ones that suffer because we already have a hard time finding parks. They close those times. I was told you can't park at them or even a break. Mm-hmm. So it just just make it more and more harder for us to find places to park in that's legal and safe for us to take our uh, legal breaks. Man, think of it. Think of it this way, man. Think of it this way. PA is over here shutting down all all of their shit because because of their paranoia of the of the of the outbreak. You know what I'm saying? They saying no fast yeah. food, no public restrooms. No toilets, no porta potties, no nothing, no 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 parking. Where 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 are we gonna go? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, yeah. we drive we drive through the and and PA is a large ass state though, for real. Oh yeah, it, it, it's 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 the it's a main artery to get out to from say from Ohio to to New York. New York. New Jersey. That, that, that northeast corridor, you have to go through PA. You There's have no, to go really through no PA. Way around it. There's no way around it. So you know, so let me get this straight, PA. Let me, let me ask you, let me ask PA a question. So since y'all closed down all of the rest stops that you know that we can't stop the the take our thirty minute break or ten hour reset. So what what are we gonna do? Just just drive illegally through the state? I mean, because if you're not giving us nowhere to park, then what are we gonna do? That's a great question. What are what are we gonna do, bro? Like, I mean, if y'all not gonna give us nowhere to park, we can't it's already bad enough that we can't park on a on on the uh on the side, you know, on the on the shoulder, you know, y'all y- y'all gonna send y'all hounds out there to give us a ticket. But if we can't park, 
You know, if we want it, if one of these drivers is running low on hours and one of the and one of the uh, rest areas that is coming up is where he needs to shut down at. He can't shut down because y'all got it closed. Whose fault is that? I I feel it's the state's fault, not the drivers. It should it, it's, it yeah. should it should be the state's fault. It is the state's fault, but of course, you know who's going to be responsible for the hours of service, though. They they probably it's come the back. Drive. They the gonna driver, it was probably a uh, poor trip planning. Exactly. You're going to say, well, maybe you should have, if you knew that you was coming through PA and we already sent the notice out, you should have already known. Yeah. Yeah, that part. Oh, it man. Never, it should never be like that. Rest there should never be shut down. No. No, more so for it's make maybe for the four wheelers because they they don't have they they got unlimited time to drive. They can drive all night if they want to if they tired or whatever. We have oh, yeah, to my, shut down. My personal car, I do. Right, we have to shut down. We have to reset. But I don't I don't know, bro. Right. It's it's looking like it's coming to the point that. That we, I have a feeling the truck, we will be shut down. I, I would be surprised if we're still running within the next two to three weeks. I, they, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised, man, because they already, I, I got, I got the call today from my fleet manager saying that, um, that they, they want people to work from home. They, the, the people that's, oh. that's working in the warehouses is not going to be in the warehouses. They going they they shutting down the they shutting down the jobs and if you can work from home work from home if you're sick don't come in you know it's as it's, of right as of yesterday everybody from triple been every office staff has been working from home hold on. hey hey uh Brett you you got your headset on yeah take take off your headset bro no wonder I'm no wonder it sounds like you're underwater. Yeah, put me on the phone. That better? That's a lot better, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, that is a lot better. That you come. As a matter of fact, I got to turn you down because you're coming in a lot better. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me give you a let me give you a round of applause. For that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. That shit crazy. <clears throat> man. That shit crazy. So, Brett, man. Um. I read your post uh, in the Facebook, man. McDonald's, man. Oh, about yesterday. What, what the hell happened? Well, I went to this McDonald's to get something to eat yesterday, cause, and I was in. I think it was in. Yeah, can't remember where it was, but anyways, mm-hmm. I went in there to go get something to eat and everything, order my food, and the head table was not taped off or anything. I wanted to sit down to right. eat, but. As my little routine, I always sit there. As I get in the driver, I don't want to sit in the truck 24-7. Not, right. No one really does. Not, right. So you I did go in there and get your food. You, wanted, you know, you at least want to take a break, watch TV or people watch or something like that. So, yeah, I, I feel yeah. you. So I, was, I wanted to sit down and eat. And I go, oh, you're not allowed. I'm going to go off there. I mean, I'm already eating my food. I'll right. finish my food and I'll get out of here. Oh, no. And then they end up calling the cops on me. <laughs> what? Yeah, because I sat down and eat there. Like, the governor says you're not allowed to eat in here. The cops came on there. And they tried to get me to even leave the whole freaking property. I said, I can't legally leave, move my truck because I have two minutes left of my clock. I'm not legally moving my truck. Wait, oh, you need to get wait, out. Wait, 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 Brett, Brett. You, did, 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 you, did, you, did you start something with the cop, man, to, 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 make him, to make him try to force you off the property, man? Come on now. You you, well, because, you you gave him the because, evil eye, did you? Oh, I definitely gave him the evil eye because <laughs> I don't think I feel that it's not right that we drivers have to be punished because of all this Hysteria. outbreak going on. Right. And it's like, okay, 
it's like there are a lot of people that are paranoid over this. I'm not going to say they're not. I'm mm-hmm. one that's not that paranoid. I'm. Am I doing anything extra than I normally do? No, I stick into the same routine, wash my hands like all like anybody else is doing more than what they used to. It seems like, mm-hmm. but I don't feel that I should have to be punished and not be able to sit down and eat and enjoy a meal instead of having to bring it back to the truck because I hardly rarely ever eat my truck. All right, so look at now here. I have to look look at here right quick. So you you're in McDonald's. It wasn't taped off. It was. It wasn't no signs that said you couldn't sit. It wasn't taped off, so you just yeah, no signs whatsoever. No signs whatsoever, and it wasn't taped off, and you just you know you you went over in your corner in your own little world. You started eating. McDonald's yeah. employee comes up to you, tell you you got to leave. What you say to that employee? Yeah, I told her I will leave after I finish my meal. <laughs> okay, so. No. Did did they did they? I was halfway through my what, meal at this point. What what was the demeanor at the time? So how much how much meal did you have, and what was what was the employee's demeanor at the time when you said? Um, that? I had I had I had, all I had left to do was finish half my sandwich mm-hmm. and the rest of my fries. So okay. I was halfway done. Okay. By the time this all happened, and then the, the cops got there literally by the time she walked back to the counter, it was no more than five minutes. And the cops were walking in. Where were you? Oh, you oh, you say you can't remember where you was at. Was you in Ohio? I know or? it was in it, No, it, it was Indiana. I know it was Indiana. Damn, you say they got there quick? Yeah. I mean what I, I mean I, they, they had, had to be real close. I mean they I mean for them to come there that damn quick, the, number one, they had to be close. But what was the what was the call for? Like that, what this what did the cop when the cop got there and he talked to you? What was he what, said what, that I I'm I'm violating the government orders, violating the government order, but okay. because the governor also of Indiana has issued the thing. I said, and I told him I don't live in Indiana. I don't follow up and keep up what the government puts right. in place in different states. Right. I've been following Ohio because exactly. I'm from Ohio. Both of us are. That's what and we've been doing. I, yep. And I, like I told him, I said, if there was a sign up or if it was taped off, it would have been a whole different situation. Okay. I would pull up a lawn chair and ate, ate outside. I don't want to care. Now, now, it's like, now, he said, now, he said government order. Now, how would you, how would you would have known, supposed to how, know that? How would you would have known that if it's no uh, material that states the fact? Did you tell him that? Right. Yeah, and and he's like, well, they haven't put it up yet. I'm like, well, then why am I being questioned and bombarded by you and the employee? Because I had no idea. If it was posted and everything, and it was taped off, like other places I've seen today that's been taped off and there's been signs up, it would be a whole different situation. Right. Like Tennessee, Tennessee had it taped off, uh, Mississippi, uh, Carolinas do Al- Alabama. I, let me see. I, let me see. I, I think down. it's nationwide. I think I believe it's now nationwide. It should be. It should be nationwide because I'm down here in Mississippi, and the uh, subway is taped off. Uh, this. Let me see. Alabama. Uh, I came through Alabama. That was taped off. Um, excuse me. Tennessee. I came through Tennessee. They was taped off. Kentucky, they was taped off. So yeah, it's it's beginning to be, it's beginning to be nationwide now. It, you know, all of the yeah, I don't, the, I don't agree with it. And it's just, it just, you, you know this what? This is just this outbreak is. I've never expected this in my lifetime. You know what? It's funny that they don't want you to sit. They they don't want you to sit in the motherfucking restaurant. They don't want you to sit. But they want you to come in, stand around, and wait for your food, though. I mean, you still yeah, so around what, people. It's not really like it's. It's not like it's really changing anything. Like, like we, uh, one of my other friends said, and he, and I did it. We had instead of when they just say you go into like a Denny's and mm-hmm. like the Pine Jays or whatnot. 
Mm-hmm. Instead of sitting people like table next next to each other, right. skip a, ta- a table or two, spread it out a little bit more. We might made it. I think they should do. I think that in like another me and a TA court today we're talking mm-hmm. that they should the truck stops should be exempt from because of the drivers and we're busting our butt trying to deliver the food and whatever they need right now as best as we can. Because that's all I've been doing lately is food. Man, listen. Water, food, whatever. Water, paper products, uh, paper products, right food. Yeah. It, it, I, I think truck drivers, to be honest with you, I, I really, I agree with you. I think we should be exempt. You know what I'm saying? Because we're, I mean, yeah, you know, but, there, but there are some, there, I hate to say this, I hate to say this, but there are some nasty ass truck drivers out here though, for real. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I, I hate to say it too, but I'm not going to disagree. And the one lady at the truck stop did mention to me and she made it by a point they, that they can't just keep it open for truck drivers and not normal people because they can't be asking everybody, okay, are you a truck driver or not? Well, I thought he was about so to that's me. Re- but I, I think if, if I, I think I think if if I don't know I'm 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 still tripping There's on the fact gotta that be we, another way it gotta be I'm I'm still tripping on the fact that we can come in for takeout we're still going to stand around waiting on our food. And right, we're still going to interact with each other, whether if we was sitting down eating the food or standing up waiting for the food, we're still interacting with each yeah, other. They, like I like, it. and that's the point I made. Mean. Like, they want limited to I think like ten people now, or whatever the number is. There could be any given time you could have more than that number in that dining room waiting for the food or ordering the food. So, mm-hmm. what difference does it make? I mean, what they gonna what they gonna do now? Like, give us, give tell us that we gotta order our food off the app, and then once they finish the food, we'll get a confirmation, and then we'll go in there and get it. I mean, wow, man, this shit, this shit is ridiculous. So I went in and I, I went in um, McDonald's. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I've been. I'm waiting for them to change that, and it's like, yeah, they have everybody doing that. It's like those, I, I have a feeling that. Would, no restaurants that even in dining or the carry out will be the next to close. And then we got twenty we got two weeks. We we got some places that's closing for damn near the summer. Close to the summer. And even Oh yes. And even and even Schools are and, pretty and, much and, done for the year. And even and even then and even and even when the summer gets here, who Who's to say if they're going to open everything back up? You right. Think? And from what I heard, they, can, they said this could be up, be with us all the way up until August. We might as well cancel summer, bro. We, we can't, we can't oh, yeah. even, we, we can't even go to, we can't even go to Cedar Point this year. I, I was looking for it. I know. I, I, I was told I have a season pass. <laughs> Could you get could you get your money back if you if you if if you brought your season well, pass could you could you get your money back you you think you can get your money back from that? Well, mine was the gold pass which was covered all last year and it will be all this year. So I've already got my money's worth, but okay. it's the point. Yeah, because exactly. I went enough times to get my money's worth for it last year. For last year, but it's the point behind it. Right, you and what about the people? What what about the people? Hold on, I know I mentioned the story, the McDonald's story that's coming up in a minute. But what about the people that prepay for their vacations already? Like some of these places that they put their down payment is non refundable. Now they won't be able to go on that cruise because know. cruises is that big is. It's the one that you got to like literally put a down payment on a non-refundable down payment. So, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna give them any type of thing for it because this is not like it's a planned thing. This is, as they're saying through the office here, it's a unique situation. Exactly is what the CEO sent us messages about. The CEO has been involved now here. Exactly. Is 
it it's it's crazy that um that um that this this is an experience hello everybody chris here that, and this- that only movies only movies can produce right you know what i'm saying i mean the movie outbreak i mean this is like this this is like quote unquote unquote on on the side of that so motherfucking walking like- dead apocalypse Zombie apocalypse. Yeah. We got we got the we got the outbreak apocalypse. You got people, you you got you got minimum wage people. Now it's it's gonna come to a point that we're gonna have mass hysteria in a minute. I mean if this if this keeps up, we're gonna have mass hysteria. You those those minimum wage people that 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 need that need the restaurant jobs that need the waitress and waiters jobs, they're not going to work. Right. They're not going to work. They taking a hit because they don't need people. If 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 they just doing carry out, they they don't need that many people there. They that that's putting hurting on their pockets. And if it's come to a oh, point, yeah. and if it comes to a point, it's going to be mass hysteria. Drop a bomb for mass hysteria. I'm telling you, it's gonna be mass hysteria, man. You know, you get you got all these people that's 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 that depends on these that depends on these jobs that's working paycheck to paycheck and don't know when the next check is coming. They're gonna be behind in their bills. Right. They're gonna be behind in they they're gonna be behind in their house payments. Then the people that they pay, they're going to be behind. And then the people that they pay, they're going to be behind. Is what, what the government going to do then? I, I hear the government is putting together another stimulus package. Yeah, I heard that, but it's not really nothing. They're trying for that for a bunch of other things, but. What's really gonna happen? Who knows? It's it's anything at this point. Yeah, man. So McDonald's day before yesterday, I went in there. I you know they got the they got the fillet, the two fillets for five bucks or whatever. I was like, all right, let me uh, you know, I wanted the I wanted the breakfast. Usually, I don't I don't get nothing else other than the breakfast, but I fuss with the fillet. Right. You know what I'm saying? I I, I fuck with the fillet. The burger I don't fuck with. I, I don't fuck with their burgers, but the fillet I'll fuck with. So I went in, ordered a small fry with no salt because you know they 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 heavy on the fucking salt, and I'd be like, no, nah, no salt, and, and the small fry because you know I I can't you know shit like that. I'm not supposed to be eating anyway, but I don't eat all day, so I can make up for eating that. You see what I'm saying? Uh huh. So yeah. I go in, and I, you know, I I notice the one chick over here going from the fry area over to the baggage area. No gloves, no hairnet, no nothing. Messing around with the with the paper bags, putting the people, you know, putting the food in the paper bags, and, and then going over to the fry area with her hands, no gloves on. No gloves on, with her hands, getting the fries and putting it in the bag. So I go, I say, hey, um, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that, but can you put some gloves on when you when you get my order? She looked at me like I was stupid, like like I said something, like I said something foreign or some shit like that. And I looked at right. her, I looked at her like, dude, you you don't you know what the fuck's going on right now you you got people that's like you got people that's fucking paranoid and you you know you paper bags paper bag got germs on it i don't care what you say it may not have it may not have the outbreak on it but it got germs on it i don't want you to fuck with my food if you fucking with the paper bags 
Right. So she she went back there to her manager or some shit like that. Manager comes up. My uh, fries come up out the fryer. And she was about to, I was like, hold up. I was like, well, who's going to get my fries? Oh, I, I'm going to get your fries, sir. Oh, okay. You're going to put some gloves on, right? Yeah. Tell me why this bitch put on one glove. One glove. One glove, bro. Hold the box with her bare hand. And then, and then in the other hand, she'd get my fries. I was like, look, you know what? I, I really don't need the fries. Just just give me the just give me my uh fillets. Well, we we already uh, I'm cool. Just run me my money back. You know, my two dollars or whatever. She you know, she right. she asked the the uh the the cashier chick, how did he pay for it? He paid for it with his card. I was like, I it's a debit card, so you can just give me my cash back. You you don't even have to go through all the all the issues, you just give me my cash back. That's all you have to do. Right. And she was pissed. Like, I mean, she she was like, she was like, she was like, she had like she was mad. So am I am am I wrong for, for I would have done the same thing. Am I wrong for that? Yeah, I I don't think so. I would have done the exact same thing. Because, yeah, I've been watching them make my food and everything, make sure there's gloves on or whatnot, because right now we just got to be even more careful. All right, we back, bro. Technical difficulties. Man, so <laughs> you hear about, you, you heard about the earthquake that was in? Um, yeah, one of, one of our drummers told me about it. <laughs> Yeah, they they uh I got a I got this text message from my guy. His uh his terminal. Let me see. Is this it right here? Nope. Hold on right quick. I got to I got to find it. Here it is. Um it was in Salt Lake Salt Lake City, Utah. Or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh yeah, he said that uh that uh his his uh, terminal was like in the heart of it, but it was in Salt Lake City. He says that uh, he said that uh, that it sounded like somebody left the gear down on their on their landing gear and drove it across the parking lot. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> he said he said the vibrations were so intense it sounded something like that. But they said it was a five point five point one on the Richter scale. That's crazy. That's pretty good for. I've I've never in in, in my life uh, encountered one, but doesn't say I won't because I'm all over. <laughs> that shit crazy, man. I mean, all this shit, all this shit's going on. We got the motherfucking outbreak. At once. We got the motherfucking we we got the outbreak. We got the motherfucking earthquake. We got motherfuckers letting motherfuckers out of jail, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw that, and I, with this whole outbreak, I don't, I haven't understood the whole toilet paper hoarding. I I don't understand that either. Hold on, right quick. He sent me, he sent me this post right here. It says, um, "L.A. County Sheriff update on the outbreak response. Release six hundred and seventeen prisoners." Reduced daily arrests from 300 to 60. No immediate arrests of criminals with symptoms, sights, and release. Wow. So if you're going to break it along, this is the time to do it. If you, you know what? I, you know what? I couldn't agree with you more. Unfortunately, but it's true. I, 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 I couldn't agree with you more on that. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. Definitely couldn't agree with you more on that one, man. If it's a time for you guys, if if it's a time for any criminal that want to be a criminal, right now is the time. But just make sure you don't fuck with the wrong one. 
<laughs> right. Just make sure you don't fuck. It, it, Go ahead. It could be the wrong. It could be. It could be the time you, it, it, that one wants to put you in jail and keep you in there. You know, it might. It might be that one that you that you're going to turn around and you know, you're going to try to take his shit and he got his he got his he got his shit with him. That's why I told my son. Right. I told my son. I said, "Watch your back, man." Because it's 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 trying times out here now. It's trying times out oh, here. Oh, it came now. bad, and it's like I literally was planning staying staying out until April, but I don't know. I may be going home soon. You can't you for, for the people that's for the people that's 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 out of work. I can understand for two weeks or something like that, but but for three four months. How how are you gonna able to? I don't know how what you gonna, gonna do. how you gonna how you gonna live, man? And the the, the similar package that they're saying, it's the not even gonna be enough, that, right? Right. Because okay, from what I've heard, it could be up like a thousand dollars or something like that. But the numbers aren't set in stone yet. But a thousand dollars for two three months, that won't even pay for half the people's bills. And I know some people's bullets are way up there. This shit crazy. Exactly. What and it's gonna uh, it's gonna bankrupt the economy. The economy is gonna take a hit. That's that's what it's oh, gonna yeah. do. And what it's gonna do what and like I said, I did my rant, but now now after twenty four hours of thinking about it, I mean it's gonna hit us too. You know, if if they if it's they good. send if they sending people home or telling people to stay home and shutting down uh, warehouses and stuff like that, with the exception of medical and grocery stores and stuff like that, how that's gonna how that's gonna affect affect us, the American truck driver? Like, I it, yeah, I that's why I keep we keep saying like. I try to watch every penny I spend right now because I don't know from any given day how much longer we could be out here. We don't know right now. Because, like I said, my, my to say. like I said, my uh my fleet manager sent me his sent me the text today. I was asking him, you know, see if he got something set for me. But he he sent uh, hold on, he sent uh, he sent this text to me. Um, all right, so this is back up. This is back up earlier today. This is around three o'clock. This is when I'm almost to my, to my place. So I asked him, I was like, what you got next for me? He said, not sure yet. What time he asked me what time I'll be empty. He said, Ohio is starting to cancel Christmas, brother. I was like, that's messed up. Christmas. Yeah, I mean, he, he said they shutting everything down. He said that the governor, he said the governor's telling everybody to work from home if they can and to start taking their temperature before you go to work. That's crazy. I, yeah, I heard about that. And I think that's a little bit much about taking the temps before you go to work. But in my opinion, I think that's kind of invading your own privacy. But if you sick, man, if if, if you sit because some you, people you have enough brain to stay home. Exactly, but you know some people just can't stay home because of the type of jobs that they got. You know, right? Take, well, I I was to, I was told with the temperature thing that the employer is supposed to take the employee's temperature. Oh wait, wait, the employer. Oh well, I, I, the way he made it like that, you should take your temperature before you go to work. I mean, yeah, before, yeah, before you go to work. One of my friends shared a post about that and everything. And it's like, if the employer's got to take your temperature and everything before you can go to work, that's where I feel it's invading in pri- oh, privacy okay. a little bit. Okay. But it's. But yeah, you should take your own temperature before you go to work and everything. And that way you're. And if you got a temperature, don't go to work because at this time right now, we don't need any more we don't, flu or sicknesses. Going exactly. Around. And as far as and as far as it the truck and as far as the truck driver goes, if if we get sick, 
if we get if we get sick, then yeah, we we have to shut down, especially the owner operator, the the sole owner oh, yeah. operator or lease driver. If if they get sick, they 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 pretty much fuck. Especially the lease oh, drivers. Oh, sure. You know. Oh yeah, because all they're doing is renting that truck, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. They 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 shit. They money coming out out of their damn paycheck every week. Every week. Oh yeah, in regards to they run or not? Exactly. So this this uh and, uh yeah this this outbreak is 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 really disrupting. You know if if this again. If this is a good time to if this is a good time to 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 to, to be a, a a a hater of America, then this is a good time to be it. Because they they sitting back oh, yeah. they sitting back looking at they sitting back looking at us like yo we we don't even have to do nothing now. That 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 outbreak that pandemic is doing it for us. Oh, exactly. It's like yeah, good. Yeah, they had they sent us all messages yesterday saying that they're all working remotely from home now. They won't even anybody in the terminals at all anymore. They uh they they even shut down orientations at some places. That's that's why I haven't even I got that's why I haven't even made my my uh the the last few of my call videos I made is already put up, but. I haven't even made no more calls because ain't no ain't no telling when the next orientation going to be. I mean, we could probably the the yeah. orientation for you guys will be, you know, will be in August, September, hell, next year. So for it's you guys, determined. so for you guys that got your licenses, y'all going on Facebook saying, "Yo, I got my license. It's, 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 it's. my CDLs, it's, it's CDLs, and all like that." But y'all don't know what y'all don't know y'all don't know when the next orientation is start. or where you gonna start. We had orientation this week and they only allow two people at a time for orientation right now. Is this over this over in Columbus or at in New Orleans and Columbus? I think in New Orleans they had at least at New Orleans I know for sure had only two. Hmm. And they normally have anywhere from ten to fifteen. Well, when I my orientation, it was only yeah, it was ten of us in my orientation. Uh, yeah, I'd say maybe one. I say one didn't make it through. So uh, I say within the two years, just about every I I was the last person in my orientation to stay as long as I stayed. So oh, I, I, I'm I'm the last one out of my orientation class. Is hey, what else is going up with? It's it's kind of it's kind of wild. <laughs> not to say not not like, be too- again not not to say that JNR Swoogle isn't a bad company. You know, it's just you know sometimes sometimes we just have to do what it's we have to do. You know, yeah, it, it, you just gotta go where wherever fits your lifestyle and your needs. So how how is uh, J and R Swoogle handling the, the the outbreak? Did they did they send you guys any anything over the Qualcomm? Well, it's from the CEO. Yeah. Oh, from the Shrugle. CEO got involved. Oh, from Shru. Well, no, Swoogle. Wait, Swoogle is an employee no, owned. Like, so so Shrugle. The CEO is now Dan Downhoff or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. But um, he he forwarded what was that yeah, came from the Minnesota Trucking Association mm-hmm. about all trucks roll on these unpredicted circumstances, um, and they're working with all the businesses that we picked up and delivered with, and mm-hmm. some may be forced to temporary close, but we will continue to run as long as we possibly can. You know that's that's just about. God damn it. All right, since my camera went out again, we're just going to go ahead and continue on with the podcast without me in the picture. But uh, anyway, um, damn it, man. That's that's just about the same. 
uh, that's just about the same information that we got. You know, it's it's uh, yeah, uncertainty. I think majority. Yeah, I think majority of trucking companies are saying it roughly the same thing because no trucking company knows how long we may still be working. They don't know right now. And that's the way it is. And I've had multiple drivers come to me and ask me, and they go, how long are, you, how long are, you, are we still going to be rolling for it? As right now, we're still rolling. But as of tomorrow, I can tell you. It could change day by day. It all depends on what the governors and the uh, president decide to do. Yeah, man, my camera do got the outbreak. I don't understand. This is the first time. This this is the first time that my camera is like literally acting up like this, man. So yeah, so that's the um, so that's the uh, that's the saying from um, from um, from from the CEO that they don't know. They don't know how how much longer that's that this is going to last and how yeah. much longer we're going to keep rolling. Yeah, which I'm hoping we keep rolling, but you drive. I'm kind of you drive in, right? Yeah, I'm driving. So if if drive in do take a hit, are you willing to go back over the reefer until? If yeah, if it keeps me rolling, yeah. I would, but I really don't want to if I don't have to. I know that's right. <sighs> Man. Well, all this shit that's and going from on. What I'm, I- hearing, from what I'm hearing, Drive In and Reaver is pretty much running consistently both both divisions right now. They've had the best week they have, they've had in a long time last week from what I heard. Oh, okay. That's what's One up. One of the most productive weeks, which kind of expected that well like i said man i hope uh i hope i guess i i guess the saying is is pray or pray for the best but but prepare for the worst because it's going to get it's going to get worse it's going to get worse before it gets better oh and that's what i keep telling people is like yeah i the whole i'm getting i ain't getting sick of hearing about it but and but I'm not concerned about it itself. I'm concerned about the economy and everything else and what's mm-hmm. gonna happen to that and what once it starts getting the outbreak goes away, what's gonna be the long term effect that it put on us? Exactly. See everybody everybody is so messed up over this over this 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 outbreak right now. They're 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 not looking at the they're not looking at the long term effect, Future. you know, right? Like and my, that's why I, 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 uh, I just that's why people been making posts about yeah I mean things you're hearing about but it's more or less the long term effect that got me a little bit concerned. Because yeah, I w- we could possibly be affected. We don't know right now. You got you you I, you got uh you got people working from home. You know, you got people working from home. You got you got the government telling people not to go to work. You got you you got states. You got states declaring martial law, shutting everything down. You got uh you you got curfews. Who ever heard of fucking curfews oh, now? Cur- but the thing about that curfew thing, I don't really agree with. Because this outbreak doesn't have set time, so what's the curfew making difference about? That's why I don't understand. Hold on, right here. Hold on, let me see if I can. So, in the movie Outbreak, in the movie Outbreak, you you had a monkey. You had a monkey that brought the that that brought some type of outbreak over. 
you got right. you, you you got this and this is in this scene right here hold on let me see if i can bring let me see if i can hopefully youtube won't uh hold on this refreshing again you can't always plan when you'll need a gun oh, rational gun owners carry damn it all right gotta wait for the commercial to stop let me see if i can get it up to this scene with uh with everybody in the government talking about the uh about the, about the outbreak hold on real quick i wonder, oh, yeah. wonder if this is it hold on why here we go let me see if this the scene right here for the spread of the virus is this 24 hours 36 hours 48 hours the greatest medical crisis of all time we <laughs> then that's how they that's how they doing it that, that's how they that's how they sitting can't stop it begins right try to remain calm many people are dying and are going to continue to die unless we find this monkey there <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Somebody brought it over here. Somebody yeah. somebody brought it over here and now it's we just spreading rapidly. And it's spreading it's spreading rapidly. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's like I never expected it to be like this. Again, like, yeah, we've had other virus or scares of whatever, but this one just seems to be. Yeah, it's, it seemed to be potent. It seemed to be and more of a panic level. Seem to be potent it now. You know, people. You know, people can't 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 be in the room now. You're gonna have you you're gonna have people that's uh that's walking around just like uh that's walking around just like just like these people walking around with hazmat suits on and shit. You know. Yeah. You don't have people walking around with hazmat suits and all like that. Yeah, it's like it's. I try. It's just weird. It's crazy. I never expected it. <sighs> crazy. I know. Portland residents, citizens of San Diego, residents of Atlanta, Denver residents. Well. Well, Brent, man, let me go ahead and get on up out of here, bro, and uh, try and get some, right. try and get some sleep, man. You try and get some rest too. You stay safe out there, man. Let me go ahead and uh, drop that bomb for you. My man Brett Stretch came on and chilled out with me. We had some technical difficulties going on, but you know, I, hey, that's that's why I got to do stuff in post. You know what I'm saying, and uh, and uh, we'll get this uh podcast up, podcast up for you guys. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, and this is my guy Brett Stretch in the building, JNR Schwugel's ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> some somebody like some, somebody had to somebody had to take over for me. <laughs> somebody no, I don't play on even. Some somebody from Ohio had had to take over for me and I'm just glad it was him. So all right, man, we about to get on up out of here. And um and you stay safe out there. For everybody else, we are gone.